Our next guest is from one of my favorite restaurants, and, and actually one of the first restaurants I ever went into in Seattle when I moved here in 1973. It's the 13 Coins. And we have Chef Doug Kenmer here doing a Caesar salad and a Sabayan, right? Pretty close? Correct. Pretty close. Okay. Greg Cole from Seattle, you're, you're the nominator. What, what did you like about this dish in particular? Well, it's a hallmark of uh, what we've always ordered. My wife and I, be even before she was my wife, we'd go in there and split a Caesar salad and either the chicken parmesan or the fettuccine Alfredo. And uh, between the two, you could fill up. And it, was a, it was a great <laughs> meal at 2 in the morning when we get off work somewhere and head down to the coins. Yeah. And it's every bit as good today as it was then. It, I, I think undoubtedly it is probably one of the absolutely best restaurants for a, kind of an after-hours <laughs> thing. And I so knocked that. See, it's a, li it a live show. You <laughs> thought it was on tape, didn't you? No, it's not. It's live. This can be 2 in the morning. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to step out here, Greg. And we're going to ask uh, Doug to go ahead and make that. And then we'll bring you back in okay. and you check him out. I'll have to. All right, great. Okay. Doug, I think the sheer longevity of the 13 coins says a lot about the yeah, quality yeah. of food and the timelessness of a dish like Caesar salad. So cool. Now, this is actually a uh, traditional uh, salad made the traditional way. And uh, we've got just a few ingredients some uh, chopped anchovy. Uh, yeah, have you just chopped that with a knife? It looks almost like it's been that's, pushed through a garlic press. We did push that through a garlic press oh, this morning. Very clever. And that breaks it down, makes it a little bit easier to work with. And uh, we have some ground garlic. And you chop the garlic, but you press the anchovy. <laughs> that's, yeah, the, the uh, garlic is actually uh, crushed and chopped. Finally. Now, Doug, can people good. at home take some of the things like uh, a lot of folks have a problem with anchovies? Maybe go lighter on the anchovies. You can do that. And the other thing is, is that if you uh, do not really like the flavor uh, of the anchovy or the texture of it, mm -hmm. you can you can actually uh, put a little oil like I'm doing right now. Right. And, uh, Just to and that it together. You want to kind of paste it, turn it into a paste. So I see. Let me know if you want any other tool. I have a few things over here. This is actually going to work just fine. That's what you like to use. Yeah. Good old fashioned wooden spoon. You can't beat them. It's, uh, we, we've been using these for 30 years in the restaurant. Is that right? Really the same They're spoon. well seasoned, though. <laughs> well seasoned. It's kind of like those salad bowls that take on the flavor exactly. over time. Yep. Okay, now we have a little bit of dried mustard. And now, that can be kind of a, a, a powerful. A flavor if you use too much. But a nice touch. And I don't see an egg here. Am I just uh, missing it? The egg or? is going to have to be pulled out by George. In the okay. Back. There's a, a single egg back there. And this is simply uh, raw egg. Simply raw egg. Mm -hmm. And it's not coddled or anything? It's not, it's not coddled. It's raw. And people who are nervous about raw eggs, could they use just maybe a quarter cup of pasteurized egg? They, they actually could. And if you're freaking out about cholesterol, maybe you could just use egg white? Would that still work? Uh, egg white, uh, I don't think that's going to be the best thing to use. Okay. So if you use a pasteurized or I really don't know what another substitute would be for that. but. There, when I was a kid and I was, um, I lived with some vegans, I was a vegetarian, there used mm -hmm. to be this stuff called Jolly Joan Egg Substitute. So I guess if you really wanted to get extreme, you could, there's, there must be something out there. Yeah, somewhere there's some Jolly Joan I'll egg talk to the Soy yes. Commission and see what they have. But okay. the egg is such an integral part yeah. of, a, if, of a classic If you do shop. not have the egg, then it will not hold together. It emulsifies everything, yeah. Now, would you, I don't really understand really these egg beaters that they talk about. Would that be a substitute? You could actually use an egg beater. Okay. Interesting. I bet that has the lecithin. Lecithin is the chemical, George, that binds liquid and oil together. They say oil and water don't mix, but they never met an egg <laughs> <laughs> or the lecithin. Okay, now I'm using fresh lemon juice. Uh -huh. Fresh squeezed lemon juice. Red wine vinegar. Red wine vinegar. Equal uh -huh. parts. Now remember, all these recipes are in your, in the menu, in the book, and you can adjust some of these, these according to the taste of the family, I would assume. You know, so. I wouldn't adjust this much, so it looks like a plat. Now, Doug, tell me about the story of Caesar salad. Well, I believe that it started off in uh, Tijuana. I believe you're right. Really? And I recently was, did some research on that. And it was a, uh, the way I heard it was uh, they were 
at a restaurant down there in Tijuana and wanted to make a new salad and they went to the refrigerator and they brought everything in the refrigerator out <laughs> and, and made the Caesar salad. Like so many things. You know, it's interesting, um, in recent years, I've heard a little twist on the legend that uh, they were out of their regular ingredients because uh, sea biscuit had raced in Tijuana and the restaurant had been mobbed. So who knows? Yeah, I'll bet. But I, I do note that I'd, I'd never heard that story before Sea Biscuit became the big movie. And yeah. So who knows the way these urban legends go? So what are you doing there? You just now got this, some some uh, ground Parmesan cheese. Now you use domestic Parmesan yes. or the Reggiano? Just the domestic. It's a domestic Parmesan. Probably what Caesar used in Tijuana. If they actually had a domestic down there, they may have used you know mm -hmm. probably almost any kind of cheese, but I think it's migrated to Parmesan. This oh, is a wonderful yeah. ratio, too, of dressing to green. When you're cooking, just lean enough. over it and, and enjoy it. I don't know why I'm doing that all the time. George, will you quit banging I, stuff I, I around? Let's let this man play I watched it and I haven't broken anything yet. <laughs> yet. Oh, and the croutons. Can't forget the croutons. And yours look simply baked. These they're are... They're not herbed or they're, they're fried herbed. or... They are baked at the 13 coins. Oh my. Get us some forks. I'm going to be well armed here this time. And that's the authentic 13 coins plate there. Are there actually 13 if I count them? Uh, not on that. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually an illusion. On that I plate. think uh, that's our beauty shot. I there. think it is too. That looks absolutely wonderful. Now yeah, we got away from you there. Uh, well, for as good as that Caesar salad sauce. is, because I've had the Caesar salad at, at uh, 13 Coins, uh, it doesn't take that long to put together, does it? Really, it? it really does not. It's a very simple salad. Like so a many few things ingredients, in life. but classic. Simple and classic. Mm. I have just oh, a bite of eggs. <laughs> we still got the souvenir to go, right? You know, okay. I, that is I'll so good. I'll save this for you. Okay. One of my favorite things. Really good. Okay, and now mm. moving mm. on to the Zabillon. Okay. And I Let have... Let me clean some of this up for you. Oh, okay. <coughs> George is going to take I home the salad bowl. He's yeah, collecting I'm away dishes. All there. I'm going to need the heat on. Thank you, sir. Okay. And Thank you, Greg. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, that is the sherry. That's the okay. sherry. Thank you. I almost didn't see it there. Now, you use sherry. Sometimes people use muscat or sweet... Uh, or Marcella wine. Late or... harvest Rieslings. Marsala, oh. yeah, that's a classic. And that was sugar. That is sugar. So, so far we have egg yolks, egg yolk, sugar, sherry, and, and sugar. sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very simple... So they're going to be whipped together, and now I'm going to need some heat. Let's talk about the copper. Yeah. The, uh, Do you want a high burner, low burner? Actually, uh, that, that heat right there is going to be good. The copper gets uh, pretty hot, doesn't it? The so copper really transfers the heat evenly. That's why uh, copper is used. I love the shape and of that pot. I do too. The, uh, it's nice and deep, and as you're whipping it, it's the air. You want me to whip. I love to whip. We're flipping, getting the air in there, and it looks like nothing's happening until right at the end. So, Doug, if um, if someone didn't have the stamina that you have, could they hold an electric mixer <laughs> into the bowl? Uh, yeah, I, I don't think that's going to work. The uh, an electric might uh, turn it into scrambled eggs or something like that. Interesting. And what you're trying to do is just really get air in and bring it up. Right. I'm just mm -hmm. dying to get my hands nicely. <laughs> And it looks like we're getting some loft, some foam, some foam yeah. <laughs> increasing nice. in volume. And so far, I don't think it's very hot because I can't smell the sherry. It's going to start coming out. Now, tell me if I'm imagining this, but I, I think there's something chemical going on with the copper. Does it react with the egg 
Is, does it make it more acidic? Well, that's or a there... good question. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Because uh, I've tried this in pans that weren't copper, and it was more challenging. Really? Yeah. I think probably the thing about the copper is the even heat. It's got to be a big part of it, yeah. But I know when you're beating egg whites, too, when there's no heat involved, I get better loft from a copper bowl. I think there's something going on there. It's starting to happen. That looks wonderful. It's starting to come together. Wow. It's delightful. Mmm. Look how that's thickened up. You're torturing me though, Doug, because my favorite thing is stirring. I feel like a little kid again. Mom, please <laughs> let me stir. Okay. Mm. But I can see you've really got a good motion you going. You're doing a good job up. there. Isn't that yeah. gorgeous? It's wonderful. Now now we started, started out there with a very thin solution, really. Really thin. And, and look how it comes out here. Look at that. Quite custard-like. Yeah. Now, what would you serve this with, Doug? Uh, probably a uh, brandy or Grand Marnier or... <laughs> and a big spoon. I had no idea. I was thinking of a cookie or maybe like a chocolate <laughs> cigarette, but... I like his idea better, but that's all right. That's all right. That Great, is Great, let's get you in here, uh, because that just looks it's so... Really hot. Hot. I gotcha. There you go. Greg, you move behind We gotta get there. some spoons. I'll just Thank you. this off. Oh, you're talking to the gr that Greg. I thought you want me to taste. I, I have to make sure it's good. Oh, need that again. <laughs> this is a little pepper on. There's spoons there. Some with fresh ground pepper. Pick, pick up with a fresh ground pepper. pepper. <laughs> Sabi you know, I have used Sabillon in savory preparations before. Mm -hmm. Let us know how he did here. And, and I've saved you some. We have to let you taste the salad too. Yes, I've got some right here for Great. you. Great. Mm. And here's a. It's always important to eat dessert first. I, 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 I knew you were thinking that, Greg. All right, Price that's some, absolutely perfect. Try some of that. Set. So the sabio is uh, working for you. Perfect. That's just wonderful. Mm. Isn't that good? I got to try some of this just just because it, it was amazing to go from a almost a, a, a very total liquid to something that tastes that good. Oh.